to that show you the Stedler or Stedler pigment liner 0.5 size. I have already the 0.2 pigment liner. The Stedler pigment liner it's a fine liner for writing, sketching and drawing. You can make a really nice you can make really nice drawing if you know how to draw and really the idea with the nice thing about this is that it has a really deep black the black color you can find this in different colors and this is the size of the 0.5 information on the back about you shouldn't use this on the skin and also these are the this is the comparison i also have the 0.2 before I bought the 0.2, I couldn't find the 0.5, it was not available, so I will also compare these two. So here you have the 0.2, this is the width of the 0.2, and then 0.5, it looks much thicker, so they will be working together pretty well, I hope. And this is supposedly Art and Craft Art and Creative Materials Institute certified. Whatever that is, I don't know. I guess it's some artistic stuff, good for artists, artist supplies. Someone who is an artist, they could say if this is good or not. This is the barcode here and it's made in Germany. So let's open it up. Yeah, the previous one when I opened it, it was very easy to open it from below. Maybe someone opened it before. Okay, that's the fine liner. The package has plastic on it, so about recycling, I don't know. I guess you could recycle this part. It doesn't have any recycling amp symbol on it. And this is the Stedler Pigment Liner 0.5 millimeter. It's 12 hours, it can sit for 12 hours with the cup off and it will not get dry. This is what they say at least. Some information. Ah, you have to keep them horizontal. So these are the two fine liners. And I have the 0.2. 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 they are really the same size only the tip is different so this metal clip i i made another video for this one when i opened it it's uh, pretty much and i think they are actually refillable even though they might not be refillable officially but i think you can remove this cup here and put some japanese ink the really dark ink for uh, for drawing, really nice ink for that. So I will try that in the future when one of them will be finished. Cup off. That's the tip. It's a bit rounded. I will compare it to the 0 0.2. So you can see them. So this is the the left is 0 0.5, right is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is much thinner. And I'll do a little bit of a test. Compare these two, see how they are. So first I will write with a 0 0.5. I'll make a drawing. I'll try to make it keep it flat. Yeah, it feels really nice to use and it's not too thick. I was afraid that it's gonna be too thick. Make a tongue here. I'm not sure if that's a tongue, but some kind of a creature, I guess. So this is the 0 0.5 here. I 
this is the 0 0.5 and I could do something like make something different here like some kind of a rounded face with the ears I'm not really good at drawing so please excuse my excuse my drawing skills so we could do like a eyes yeah okay so this is some kind of a creature with the body and the legs you see you also have to be able to draw you can't just buy these things and pretend to know how to draw so this is the 0 0.5 and i can use the 0 0.2 for some accents so let's let's make a difference here so 0 0.5 millimeter and now 0 0.2 millimeter you can see there is a difference between them but not much really on paper but the 0 0.5 is much deeper, much more defined than the 0 0.2. I will try to draw something with the 0 0.2. I will try to draw the same head. Something like that. So this is the 0 0.5 and that's the 0 0.2. Zero point five really it's uh it's for the bigger shapes so I could make some kind of a drawing like a three d kind of a shape like this and with the zero point five I could give it a bit of a edge edges define the edges or something like this. like that and I could also use the same 0 0.5 for this the 0 0.5 is useful to give it a darker edge and the 0 0.2 is to make fine, fine drawings. With the 0 0.5 you can actually not put pressure on it and you can write very finely, even more fine than the 0 0.2. Like this, the light pressure it was 0 0.5, 0 0.2. So you can actually write with the 0 0.5 almost the same thickness as the 0 0.2 without to make too much effort. These are the pigment liners. These are the pigment liners 0 0.5 and 0 0.2. They are really interesting, I believe. More one thing to note is make sure you put the cap on the right one so you can clearly see them which one it is. The cap comes off and it goes back on little bit harder so it really seals the ink inside of the cup there on the pigment liner 
I will try to make some drawings and see how it goes. Thanks for watching.